And as we come to the final end of round four, the battle at the top of the points table getting very intense now between Mark Rennison in car number one, down on pole position, and on the outside of the second row, number two, the Shell Isles RS200 of Trevor Hopkins. But with our camera on board this time on the inside of row three, we have Ross Browning. How does it feel, Ross? A um, bit fraught at the moment. I'm hoping to stick behind Rennison. I'm sure you are. Good luck anyway. And shortly we will know, but the revs build up and the lights green and everybody away from the grid. And you can see the more powerful cars already pulling away. And it's Mark Rennison into the lead. There we see from the inside of the car, just the back of the Johnson uh, extract. But up front, Will Gollop trying to come through on the inside. I'm happy there to take third place and the two 6R4s of Shield. Um, but to Will Gollop now being pushed back into fourth by Trevor Hopkins. Trevor anxious to keep in terms with Mark Rennison in this battle for points because remember, the top 30 point scorers go through, and the more points you have in the final round, then the better the grid positions you will have. So it's no good just getting into the final. You want to get as many points as you can, and of course, that's what Mark Rennison is after. Puff of smoke from the RS200, he goes up through the gears. Michael Shield staying in well there in second place, so the two northern boys dominating this race at the moment. Michael Shield getting a little bit closer to Mark as they go over the top of the uh, hobbies drop, round hobbies drop, they come. The third place, Trevor Hopkins, then World Gollop, then it is indeed uh, the, R the um, Gary Baker car, I believe. But let's have a word now with uh, Ross Browning. Four, third, second. As you can see, it quickly goes down through the gears. Um, you really wouldn't know it, but uh, down two gears there very, very quickly. And Ross coming up onto the top of Paddock Turn, there, chasing hard on Gary Baker. Down tumble downhill. The lead is already out of the S's and is sending the uh, Halewood Hill section up into the Druid's hairpin where Mark Renison's nose dips under braking with Michael Shields still right there in a good second place ahead of Trevor Hopkins and Will Gollop at the moment. Not able to get anything better than fourth place there with the 6R4. So it's a good mix here between the normally aspirated Metro 6R4s and the turbocharged RS200s and honours very even between them really but a reigning champion in the Shell Oils series here. Mark Rennison leading his close neighbour from North Yorkshire and close and here at Brands Hatch as well because Michael Shield giving him a very, very close race as they come down the Cooper Strait. Behind them you can just see the current championship leader Trevor Hopkins in third place but there's Mark Rennison down through the chicane and away up to the top of Paddock Turn once again. Gap wide a little bit now already pulling out just a few extra lengths over Michael Shield but Mike driving very well indeed. This ex Mike Stewart rally car, which is now converted into full rally cross specification. And young Mike is still in his first full season with this car. Will Gollop at the moment with no answer to the competition ahead. And Mark Renison getting a little bit uh, out of line there as he went into Druids, but they're coming away onto the knife edge. Through they go onto another lap and still very, very close up front and still Mike Shield doing everything he can to get on terms with Mark Renison and Michael, of course, lying third in the championship at the moment. He's going to do his points of power of good and if he could get past uh, Mark Renison, well, that would not only do him good but help Trevor Hopkins a little bit as well because it would keep Mark a little bit further down the points table. And Mark Renison giving it his all and you can see that Mark Renison is being made to work very, very hard indeed and Michael Shield goes through on the inside. Mike Shield through on the inside. A superb young 21 years of age, Michael Shield, as they go down into the essence for the last time. Michael Shield is actually leading our champion, Mark Renison. Behind them, we can see that Will Gollum has got past the RS200. So the normally aspirated Metro is going very well here at Brands this afternoon. And Michael Shield is pulling away now from Mark Renison as they come round Druids for the last time. Down towards Langley's Gap, Will Gollum giving it his all there in third place. But it's a brilliant drive from the Asia. Isles, Metro 6R4 of Michael Shield who comes through to take victory. Michael Shield beats Mark Renison. Hopkins comes home relatively slowly, but oh yes, he really has come of age here this afternoon. Young uh, 21 years of age, Michael Shield.